is up everyone welcome back hope you guys are all having a good day um, with this video I'm gonna do a little, something a little different I'm gonna go through my workflow how I edit my pictures and briefly kind of give you just a rundown of how all that goes down we're gonna use the pictures from last video if you haven't checked that video out check it out link will be in the description as well as probably at the end of this video um, just give that a give that a little look see and let's get into this got me some coffee keeping me motivated So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Lightroom. That's what I use to edit all my pictures. Uh, I already imported them into here, so they should be in here. I also already rated them. Um, one of the first things I do is I always rate my photos, so I know which ones to prioritize over the ones that weren't as good, you know. I have a preset pack that I made um, there. It's the same preset I put on all my photos for Instagram. So we're going to go with that first, and then we'll tweak it from there depending on the picture. Okay, so we're going to throw my preset onto the photo. Um, as you can see, I have Moody Scape, Moody Port, and Moody Port Close Up. Uh, obviously, Moody Scape is for landscapes, is for portraits, and is for close up portraits. So we're gonna throw on the landscape one. This one bumps up sharpness. Um, I don't normally like to go with that much sharpness, so I'm gonna actually take the clarity, dehazing, and then we're gonna run down to the sharpening. We're gonna bring that down. We're gonna add a little bit of sharpness, and we're also gonna add a touch of noise reduction into it, just so it gives a little bit of a grainy feel, makes it a little more moody. Um, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, these are all pre-tweaked. Um, I normally, it depends on like the day, the light and everything, but I like to add a little bit of green back into it. Um, but I also like to take the green and make it a darker shade so it's not as bright, not as vivant. As you can see, I mean, that's gonna like really bring up the luminance in the greens. Um, I don't really like that as much, so we're gonna bring it down. Darkens it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more moody. Um, alrighty. Uh, let's see, we can play with the tone curve a little bit. I don't like to touch it too much. Honestly, I'm gonna bring it down just a tad. Kind of makes it a little darker. Uh, let's bring it up just a, just a tad, okay. And then this is gonna bring out those blacks, you know, kind of, obviously this is gonna look awful. So I don't like to play with it that much, but I like to, gives it that moody vibe, kind of. There we go with that. Last thing I like to do is I like to add a little bit of uh, vignetting into it, not too much because obviously that looks like you're looking through a hole, not really the style I'm going for, so just a slight vignetting into it, darkens up a little bit. There's the original, there's the edited. Honestly, I'm gonna probably lighten it up just a tad. Um, yeah, like that, okay. So obviously original, edited, you can see it brings out some of the detail up here where it was a little cloudy. Um, so, all right, there's that one. Let's see. This next one, honestly what I do is since it's the same location, same day, same lighting, everything, I'll just copy what I did to this last one, paste it on the next photo, and then tweak it from there if there needs to be some tweaking. Um, so this one, I'm going to lighten up the trees just a tad. I don't like how dark they are exactly, so I'm gonna bring up a little bit of the luminance in it. I should brighten it up just a tad. Also, I'm gonna bring up the luminance in the yellows. That will lighten it. And then I'm also gonna bring up the saturation of the yellows just a tad. Bring out those yellows and greens. Um, you can see it's kind of, it brightened it up from before. All right, so with this photo, it's a little bit distracting down here. It seems like it's a little too bright. Um, that's just my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a graduated filter. I'm going to apply it down here, drag it up about halfway, and then I'm going to take the exposure down just a tad. Um, this kind of takes the focus off of those rocks. They're a little too bright. So that's kind of darkening it up a little bit. And then overall, I'm gonna bump up the exposure just a tad, not too much. And there's the before, there's the after. I like what's going on here. All right, next photo. Okay, this one's kind of cool. Um, there's, I shot this in RAW, so there's gonna be a lot of detail I can bring out of these clouds. Um, once I apply this, I'm just gonna paste the same edit I had on the last one. As you can see, it brought out a lot of the detail inside the clouds, um, which is good. I also like that it's darkened it up a little bit. Honestly, this one's pretty good, how I have it. Um, what I might do to this one is I might just apply another one of these graduated filters. And we will throw down that exposure again. Again, it just kind of brings the focus off the rocks, kind of puts it more on the mountain, which is kind of the subject of this photo. Also, I'm gonna strain it just a tad. I mean, it's pretty straight as of right now, but I'm gonna crop it up just a little bit. 
and then honestly it's pretty straight I don't think I need a straight I just cropped it a little bit and there's that one before after brought out a lot of the details I like what's going on here okay let's just skip to some of these portrait ones that I took um, these ones are gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna have to brighten me the subject up because I'm a little dark in here. When I'm taking pictures, I normally will underexpose by one stop just so I can retain a little bit more detail in the skies. It also gives me the kind of the feel that I'm going for with my pictures. So that's generally one thing that I do, as you can see in this picture here. Um, so we're gonna apply the filter. We're probably gonna have to brighten up the highlights just a little bit so that we can bring back some of the detail in the shadows. So let's get on with that real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to by the same preset that I've been throwing on all of them. As you can see, it's definitely way too dark here, but it did bring out some of the details in the sky. As you can see, it's very overexposed, and then that's bringing out some of the detail. Now, with this one, what I'm going to do is bring up the exposure just a tad, not too much, because I want to keep some of that. I want to keep some of the uh, detail in the sky for sure. So what I'm going to do with this one, actually, is I'm just going to take a brush and right now it's gonna totally desaturate it and just make everything look weird. But I'm going to brush all of this. So what I did was I just brushed over this whole thing. Obviously the saturation's way down because that's just a preset that I have on so I can see what I'm painting. Um, so I'm gonna take off this saturation so it's not desaturated. I'm also gonna take off this temperature because I don't want it to be any warmer. So as you can see from the before and the after, it brought out a lot of the detail already. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another brush. I'm just gonna quickly revise over my face, which is kind of the main focus of this picture. Um, so I'm just gonna color that real quick and then I'm gonna take off the saturation. I'm gonna take off the temperature. The exposure's up a little bit. I don't need it that far up. So that's definitely bringing my face back in. Okay, so that's that's the appropriate exposure for my face about, I might bring it down just a tad. Um, okay, right there. And then honestly, I'm gonna bring up the temperature just a little bit, just to bring out those skin tones. Nothing too crazy. I don't wanna look like a new bloomp up in here. Um, so as you can see, this one's pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna straighten it up just a little bit because I'm standing at an angle. It's kind of weird. So let's go with that, bring it down. I want my feet in there. Obviously, I'm using rule of thirds here, so I'm keeping my face where the lines intersect. It's a good thing to keep in mind when you're taking pictures, rule of thirds is pretty important. Um, so there you go, that's the finished picture. As you can see, I retained some of the detail inside the clouds, and then my face, my body, it's all correctly exposed. So there we go with that one. Um, I'm gonna do one more for you. Let's go with... All right, I'm gonna do this one. I like this one. I like the uh, highlights that it's throwing down. The sun's kind of going down, so it's throwing some light on me here. Kind of like what's going on. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten it. Standing at an angle again. My camera must have been a little sideways when I was on a tripod. Uh, I'm also gonna try and bring me more into the rule of thirds, but still keeping my feet inside the picture so I'm not cutting any limbs off. Okay, so here's this one. Kind of like what's going on here. Um, I'm gonna apply the same preset. I've applied to the rest of them just to keep them all the same. As you can see, it's way too dark, way too dark right here. So I'm going to, again, take the brush, brush this whole thing over, making sure I get me these trees. I don't need to brush the uh, mountain up here too much because it's already pretty, pretty bright. I don't need to do anything crazy with that. Um, obviously, I'm gonna take down the temperature because it looks like I'm standing on the sun, um, so. There we go with that again. Now I'll bring up the brightness, but I don't want it too much. The rocks, I don't want them to be obviously blown out like that. That looks awful. So I'm going to bring it up just a tad. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another brush. Again, brush over my hat. But being my body, keep it. I mean, the blacks aren't as important because it's kind of hard to brighten a black when it's already super dark. So we're going to go with that. I'm also going to erase a little bit of the overflow here. We don't need all that. It's gonna look weird if it's too much. Okay, so there we go. Obviously I'm gonna take the saturation down, temperature off, exposure, bring that up just a tad, not, nothing too crazy. Um, and then I'm also going to bring up the temperature just, just a little bit. All right. Okay, so this one, obviously before, it's a pretty good photo, honestly to begin with, it's a little dark. 
and then afterwards definitely brought up a lot of detail in the sky also kept me exposed correctly i might bring it down just a tad if i'm being honest it doesn't need to be super bright okay that looks a lot better now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of a vignette onto it kind of keep me keep me the subject of the photo all right and then once we're done editing the pictures i'm going to select the ones that i've edited and the ones i want to export so select all these command clicking and then i'm just going to go here export and then we're gonna i already have a folder for them we're going to just name them canyon um, and then this is going to export them starting with number one they're going to go canyon one two three four so on until they're done export those and that's pretty much it so yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um those are the presets i use on all my pictures if you're interested in them uh let me know i might be selling them pretty soon i'm thinking about it don't know if i want to yet but that could be a possibility if anyone wants them just let me know and i can uh put them up for sale and you guys can purchase them that'd be kind of cool uh, but I appreciate you guys watching this video. Go check out my last video. Like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. That'd be very cool. Thank you. See you in the next one.